Okay guys, welcome back to a day in my life and I want to show you what I'm doing daily to eat on a carnivorous diet. And I'm saying carnivorous because there are a few things that are technically not strict carnivore, but there are things that fit into my lifestyle. There are things that are zero carb or incredibly, incredibly low carb that I've managed to work my way in. So the first thing I start my morning off with is espresso, two shots of espresso, and I use zero carb heavy whipping cream and one package of artificial sweetener. And in this case, I use sweet and low. Truthfully, that's the ish part of the carnivorous diet. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. I've been using this new face wash. Um, I really like it a lot. It foams up and it doesn't dry my skin out too much. And then I was headed to take my daughter to Dreams Camp. This was actually on a Monday and it's like this leadership camp. And then we grabbed some groceries from Walmart. So I'm just gonna unload those really quick. And you'll see that I drink a lot of LaCroix because, well, I like it. It's carbonated water. There was my dog. After doing the groceries, then it was time to eat a little bit of breakfast. So I did two eggs with about a tablespoon of butter. I'm just gonna scramble these up really quickly. And then I like to sprinkle a little bit of cheese. And then I'm gonna add something unexpected to the side. This is kimchi. I love it. It has practically no carbs. Again, this is the ish part of the carnivore-ish. Practically no carbs, but a wonderful crunch and a nice fermentation for my gut health. I like to find a way to introduce kimchi into my diet every day, just a little bit. I don't do a lot. I could eat the whole jar at one sitting, but I don't allow myself. <laughs> very crunchy, very acidic, and I just love it. Later in the day, I did a diet root beer or a zero sugar root beer. So good, such a good little pick me up. And I went out to the porch to read my Bible and to study. And of course, I always like to journal. Then I came back in for lunch and I did something kind of strange. I did a little bit of bacon fat and a little bit of butter and I seasoned this strip steak. Wait, that's not strip steak. I cut it into strips. This is round steak and I cut it into some really thin strips and then I just put it in a pan with that butter and that bacon fat just to cook really quickly. I just was trying to throw something together. My husband was hungry. I needed something to eat for lunch and on carnivore. It's predominantly meat and eggs and a little bit of dairy. So this was something really quick. They actually liked it. My son ate a few of these strips. Of course, he was able to dip them in some of his favorite sauces. But myself and my husband, we just ate it as is, kind of plain. But the flavor was good and it was a good option for a very quick lunch. I totally forgot to show that I picked Ava up from Dreams Camp and we went and grabbed some groceries that I forgot real quick. Um, so I got us a couple of snacks and since I'm trying to show you what my diet looks like, I thought I would show you my snack. I got some Baby Bell cheeses. They are zero carb. Also got some pork skins. They're zero carb and like there's lots of different flavors. I'm not crazy about a lot of them. My husband likes the hot ones, but these look really fancy. So that's what I'm gonna try. Okay, these are really good and they're double fried, but I have to be honest, they are extra, extra, extra crispy, almost to the point where they're a little too hard to chew, but the Baby Bell cheese was delicious. And I also needed to clarify that my first grocery pickup this morning was just that, a grocery pickup. And then when I picked up my daughter from camp, I actually had to go in Walmart and get more stuff that I forgot. For dinner tonight, I grilled a steak, I had some sausage and some melted butter.